Why are we here in front of this bank? Well, this bank, TD Bank, is involved in a lot of the destruction people are experiencing all around the planet. TD is one of 17 huge banks that have loaned money to numerous anti-life causes. Very recently, and with very little, almost no public fanfare, we, and I suppose people at large, have learned that the state, through State Treasurer Beth Pierce, has decided to no longer run all of its operating budget through TD Bank. And this is of interest to us, members of the Upper Valley Affinity Group, because TD Bank is a major supporter of the KXL pipeline, the Energy East pipeline, DAPL, and also the Vermont Gas Pipeline right here in Vermont. And for years we have agitated that the state should take its money out of this bank, not support the bank, not pay fees to the bank, and at long last, quietly, the state has decided to do that and instead it will be depositing all of its operating budget, basically its temporary investment funds, in People's United Bank, which is at least a New England bank. We, we really don't know much about People's United Bank. Initially, when I heard this change had been made, I did some research into People's United Bank. They are a New England bank. Relative to TD Bank, they're a small bank. So far as I can tell to this point, they don't invest in fossil fuel projects, so there isn't that problem. And they also do claim that they are interested in investment in the areas that they serve. And I think this is of particular interest to us because we would like there to be more investment by local banks in statewide renewable energy projects. That's something that was completely lacking from TD's notion of how to do business in Vermont. People should not be keeping their money in this bank. There are many alternatives. There are truly local banks. There are credit unions. There's no need to keep your money in this bank. And when you do keep your money in this bank, you in effect are supporting new fossil fuel infrastructure projects, which is a terrible idea. Now, we also know about People's United Bank very recently that they are being sued whether there's any basis for this or not, I don't know. A judge has said the suit can go forward. They are being sued as part of the EB-5 scandal uh, having to do with the uh, J. Peak development and so forth. And uh, it does raise the question, have we traded a bank that invests heavily in fossil fuels and therefore is responsible for destroying the climate? Is the only possible alternative investing in a bank that is possibly corrupt. Put it this way, I think there are many factors and many reasons why the state has taken its money out of this bank and moved it to a New England bank. I don't want to take credit for this change, but I do think that our constant agitation against the bank and against the state keeping its money in this bank has been a factor, quite definitely so. I do think in part one thing that might have been in Beth Pierce's mind when she made the change is that she doesn't want to constantly be answering questions about participating in new fossil fuel infrastructure through the state's use of this bank, TD Bank. At the same time, we have said all along that the best possible alternative to the state keeping its money in TD Bank would be to have a state bank, and a state bank would be an excellent way of supporting all sorts of local projects, including local re renewable energy projects throughout the state. Beth Pierce, for reasons of her own, is very reluctant, even adamant, against any kind of institution of a state bank. And so I think making this first step away from TD Bank toward a more local bank is a way for her to shut off discussion of State Bank. But we will continue talking about State Bank because we do believe that that would be an enormous factor in having much more investment in renewable energy projects in Vermont.
<laughs> You've seen this, haven't you? Take one. Every day, people say, have a great day, and meanwhile, species are going extinct. I mean, when are we going to wake up? I so appreciate what Heather Heyer said before the Nazis ran over her. If you are an outrage, you haven't been paying attention. And that's what I